Welcome to the how-to video on configurable product setup. EcomChain allows the website owner to set up products that can be configured by the end users. Before we can assign a product to be configurable, configurations must be set up. Navigate to the dashboard and expand products from the menu on the left-hand toolbar, then select attributes. All of the product attributes and configurations that have been created will show on the screen. To add another one, enter the name of the new attribute and click the Add button. You can have as many as you like. A pop-up screen will ask what type of attribute you wish to create. For this attribute, we are selecting Configurable Attribute. A more specific list is then displayed. Text box allows the end user to enter text. List of values requires a list to be entered that the end user can select from. Boolean requires the end user to select yes or no. Multiple values allows the end user to select from a variety of answers. Here we will select list of values and click the select button. Locate the attribute you just created. Here we just created the attribute length. It is showing the type is configurable and it is a list. You can select to hide the attribute from the catalog if you want to keep them for later use or you can delete them. You can also upload an image to display choices. Since this is a new list type configurable attribute, we need to add values for the end user to select. Click the plus sign. Here we have added three list values to the attribute length. To add a value, enter the value in the box and click the add button. We have the ability to hide and delete each value we create. You can add as many values as you like. Navigate back to the dashboard and select add products. This shows all of the products we have created. Here you can select Add Product or select a product that has already been set up that you now need to add configurations to. Here we will select a product. To add a new product, please see our Add Product tutorial. Scroll down and select Advanced Info, then Configurable Product from the menu on the left toolbar. Click the Next button to Configurable Product to set up this product's configurations. A button will appear called Select Configuration. Clicking this will bring up a list of configurations that have been set up and that can be applied to products. We will select the length configuration and then click select at the bottom of this pop-up window. The configuration length has been added to our product. You can select as many configurations as you like for each product. This is the end user screen view before we added the configuration. This is the end user screen view after we added the configuration. The button has changed. The next screen has a pop-up for their selection before adding it to the cart. Here the customer selects the configuration and clicks Add to Cart. The cart shows the configuration selection with the product. In this example, the link is displayed under the item. This concludes the tutorial on configurable product setup.